Hello everyone. Welcome to this series on the essay Preface to Lyrical Ballads written by William Wordsworth. Paragraph 5. The principal object then proposed in these poems was to choose incidents and situations from common life and to relate or describe them throughout as far as was possible in a selection of language really used by men and at the same time to throw over them a certain coloring of imagination whereby ordinary things should be presented to the mind in an unusual aspect and further and above all to make these incidents and situations interesting by tracing in them truly though not ostentatiously the primary laws of our nature chiefly as far as regards the manner in which we associate ideas in a state of excitement humble and rustic life was generally chosen because in that condition the essential passions of the heart find a better soil in which they can attain their maturity are less under restraint and speak a plainer and more emphatic language because in that condition of our life our elementary feelings coexist in a state of greater simplicity and consequently may be more accurately contemplated and more forcibly communicated because the manners of rural life germinate from those elementary feelings and from the necessary character of rural occupations are more easily comprehended and are more durable and lastly because in that condition the passions of men are incorporated with the beautiful and permanent forms of nature the language too of these men has been adopted purified indeed from what appear to be real defects from all lasting and rational causes of dislike or disgust because such men hourly communicate with the best objects from which the best part of language is originally derived and because from their rank in society and the sameness and narrow circle of their intercourse being less under the influence of social vanity they convey their feelings and notions in simple and unelaborated expressions accordingly such a language arising out of repeated experience and regular feelings is more permanent and a far more philosophical language than that which is frequently substituted for it by poets who think that they are conferring honor upon themselves and their art in proportion as they separate themselves from the sympathies of men and indulge in arbitrary and capricious habits of expression in order to furnish food for fickle tastes and fickle appetites of their own creation explanation in this section of the preface to lyrical ballads wordsworth articulates the foundational goals and methods of his poetic approach he outlines the deliberate choices he made in the composition of the poems which aim to transform the way poetry is perceived and interacted with principal objective wordsworth's primary goal was to take ordinary incidents and situations from everyday life and depict them in poetry using the language actually spoken by people he aimed to infuse these everyday occurrences with a coloring of imagination making the familiar appear extraordinary and presenting them in a new and lightning way this approach was meant to refresh the reader's engagement with the mundane revealing the underlying beauty and significance of common experiences focus on humble and rustic life wordsworth explains his preference for subjects drawn from rural and humble settings he argues that the passions and emotions of people in such conditions are more vivid and less constrained by societal norms making them more genuine and expressive 
He believes that in rural life, emotions are simpler and more transparent, allowing for a clearer observation and communication of human nature. The rural setting, with its close ties to nature and straightforward lifestyle, also provides a more stable and relatable backdrop for exploring human emotions. Choice of language The language chosen for these poems is that of the common man, but refined to remove any elements that might be off-putting or distracting. Wordsworth justifies this by noting that rural individuals, due to their constant interaction with nature and their less complicated social interactions, use a form of language that is direct, robust, and meaningful. He criticizes contemporary poets who, in his view, distance themselves from the true experiences and expressions of people through every ornate or contrived language, thus alienating themselves from the genuine human condition. Philosophical Underpinnings Wordsworth asserts that the language of everyday life, honed by consistent and heartfelt experiences, represents a more enduring and philosophically sound means of communication than the affected speech often favored by poets of his time. This language is inherently tied to the primary laws of our nature, reflecting how people naturally think and feel, particularly under the influence of strong emotions. Through these choices, Wordsworth sought to craft poetry that was both deeply connected to the human experience and accessible to a wide audience. He aimed to demonstrate that poetry could be both profound and simple, drawing its strength from authenticity and emotional truth rather than from artificial constructs of traditional poetic form. This philosophy was radical at the time and contributed significantly to the shaping of romantic literature, emphasizing emotion, nature, and dignity of the common person. So this was the analysis of fifth paragraph of Preface to Lyrical Ballads by William Wordsworth. We will meet in the next video and discuss next part of the essay. Until then, goodbye and thank you.